Hi, I'm John Bollinger. Welcome to my series on how to use the Bollinger Band Toolkit on TradeStation. Today we're going to look at setting up a basic Bollinger Band chart on TradeStation using the toolkit. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the File menu and click on New and we're going to open a clean workspace to work with. Next we're going to add a chart. Again, go to the File menu, click on New and go to Trading App window and select Chart Analysis. This will bring up the basic um, TradeStation price chart. It's a open, high, low, close bar chart uh, dr drawn in green. So let's maximize that and then right click and say Format Symbol. We are going to select daily as I work mostly with daily charts and it's most, the most comfortable representation for myself. And then we're going to go over to Style and we're going to get rid of the open, high, low, close bars you see here and we're going to replace them with dot on close. This is a sort of minimal representation of price and the reason for this is that we're going to overlay our own charting technique. So just click OK now and we have a minimal representation of the price of Southern Company, each dot represents the closing price of Southern Company on that day. So in order to get going, we're going to insert analysis technique after right clicking in, in the chart and we're going to come down here and we're going to click on Bollinger Bars. Now you see that all the Bollinger Band Toolkit um, items begin with BBTK. On your platform it's actually going to say Bollinger Band Toolkit in front of the BBTK but as this is a development platform mine just says BBTK. So we're going to highlight Bollinger Bars and then click OK. So Bollinger Bars are a cross between traditional Western bar charts and Japanese candlesticks where we've used color to code the information. Uh, I think they're an easy way to see what's happening to the price structure as it develops over time. The center portion of the bar that's colored either green or red is colored green if the close is higher than the open and it's colored red if the close is lower than the open. The distance to the high and to the low from the interval between the open and close is filled in in blue. And you can see that during during advances here we get primarily green bars, during declines we get primarily red bars. Um, and this is sort of important because it really helps us see the trends as they develop. The next thing we're going to do to develop a Bollinger Band Toolkit chart is add Bollinger Bands themselves. So again right click on the chart and say insert analysis technique and we're just going to come over here and say BBTK Bollinger Bands insert them. The first thing you'll see is that these aren't the normal Bollinger Bands that you're used to seeing. The upper band is colored red and the lower band is colored green as is, would be normal but the middle band in this book, Trade Station Toolkit is colored according to the direction of the intermediate term trend. Um, if the intermediate term trend is rising the middle band is colored green and if the intermediate term trend is falling the middle band is colored red. This again helps you focus on what's actually happening in the price structure. The next step is to add a couple of key Bollinger Band indicators. Again right click, insert analysis technique and the first indicator that we are going to add is percent %B. This tells us where we are in relation to the Bollinger Bands. Percent B is 1 when price is at the upper band, percent B is 0 when price is at the lower band, and it's 0.5 when price is at the middle band. So you can see I've colored the, indica the, the indicator lines um, the same colors as we have for the chart. Um, so the upper line representing price being at the upper band is colored red. Here we can see that we're at the upper band and percent B is actually above zero because we are actually above the upper band and here we can see in this area as we walk down this band um, percent B is at the lower band um, and the indicator reference line here is colored green. The final piece that we're going to add in terms of charting is going to be bandwidth which tells us how wide the bands are. So we just click on, on BBTK bandwidth and then click OK and this will add a third clip to our price chart. So this is the basic Bollinger Band Toolkit form, formulation. A price chart with Bollinger Bars, 
with um, Bollinger bands plotted where the middle band is colored according to the direction of the intermediate term trend. Underneath that, percent B, which tells us where we are in relation to the Bollinger bands, and beneath that, bandwidth, which tells us how wide the Bollinger bands are. Now note on bandwidth is an upper line and a lower line, a red line and a green line. So the upper line is 125 day reference. It's the highest value that bandwidth has been in the past 125 days. So if the blue line goes up and touches that red upper line, we are by definition in a bulge and we can look for a trend to be ending. Likewise, if the blue line goes down and touches the lower green line, we're at 125 period low in bandwidth or a squeeze and we can look for a trend to begin. So you can see, for, in, for example, in here, we got a bulge that marks the momentum peak in this trend. We make a final price low over here. And over here, we have a squeeze, and that marks the beginning of this big uptrend. So that is the basic Bollinger Band display. Bollinger bars, Bollinger Bands, percent B and bandwidth. But we have one more piece that we can add that's often very helpful. It's a descriptive piece, tells you what's going on. So again, we're going to right click and we're going to say insert analysis technique. And we're going to come down here, we're going to highlight BBTK, BB expert. This is a text based expert system that will tell you what's happening with the price of the security that you're studying in relation to the Bollinger Bands. So that'll redraw your chart, and then we have a, it, a button up here appears BB Expert. If you click on that, it'll open a text box, and it, which will describe to you what is going on with this stock. This is, a, for example, the Bollinger Band report for Southern Company SO on April 29th, uh, 2014. The intermediate trend up, and SO is under accumulation. So we can just dismiss this if we're finished with reading the analysis and um, go on with trying to find um, the position of the next trade. I note that uh, as we um, are coming into a high here that we're making a set of lower highs in terms of percent B so I'm on the alert here for a sell signal to develop. A sell signal has not developed uh, here yet, but if you look back here at this peak, you can see a series of lower highs in percent B did lead to a sell signal. So um, that's the basic idea um, behind putting together a Bollinger Band chart. I hope you enjoy the Bollinger Band Toolkit for TradeStation um, and um, come back. We'll be doing a number of other videos discussing various aspects of the toolkit. Thank you so much.